So I'm going to present the results of this uh, survey that, that we done uh, among all the members of the Covetous Network about uh, self-testing and self-sampling practices. Okay. So the objective of this mapping uh, was to assess the acceptability and usability of HIV self-testing kits, uh, self-testing uh, and self-sampling kits among Covetous Network members to identify obstacles and opportunities. In the framework of the Zorin project that Oksana has already mentioned, uh, we developed an online survey that was distributed among Covetous Network members uh, during one month from February to March 2023, and we performed a descriptive analysis. Uh, the survey was also translated to Russian and also to Spanish. Uh, well, as uh, Oksana and, and yeah, Anise already did the, the definitions, uh, those are the definitions that we use it for self-testing, but it's the same one that was used by Anise and that Oksana mentioned. And for HIV self-sampling, uh, we use this, this one that is uh, referring to a process of self-collection of a specimen in a home environment by a person who wants to know their HIV status, after which that person uh, sends it the sample uh, to a laboratory for analysis. And the results are communicated to the owner of the specimen by phone, text, or online a few days later. So uh, in total, 40. 42 uh, CBCT members of the network responded to the survey. Uh, this table uh, shows the number of respondents per country. The countries with more respondent, respondents were uh, Italy and Spain, with, each, uh, with eight each one, and Belgium with seven. Um, oops. Can you see the slide? Um, I don't know. So not anymore. Can you go back? Yeah. Maybe I need to close and start again. Sorry for that. One moment. Okay. Also, if not, I can share the. No, I can. No, no, it, it was. It's working. Just that uh, sometimes I don't know why. I just need to open it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now it now it's working. Um, Share again, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yes, now. <laughs> okay. So um, all the respondents uh, have previously heard of HIV self-testing. Uh, three of the CBCTs uh, reported that HIV self-test kits are illegal in their countries, and those uh, countries were Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Five uh, centers reported that HIV self-test kits are legal, but cannot be purchased uh, legally from private donors, and those centers are from Spain, Georgia, and Kyrgyzstan. And uh, 14 uh, CBVCT centers, 53%, uh, are currently providing HIV self-testing, and uh, one uh, used to provide it, but uh, no anymore. It was during the COVID and uh, with a funded project. <clears throat> so the main reasons uh, for not providing HIV self-testing uh, were related to uh, the cost of the test, that is more expensive than rapid test, and no funding for HIV self-test uh, for those services with already rapid tested, uh, testing funded programs, the importance of rapid testing services and counseling, and also uh, legal issues. And other reasons highlighted were related to the target population that is particularly vulnerable, homeless people, precarious sex workers, strict drug users, uh, who may not have the hygienic conditions to perform these tests by themselves, uh, that there is no demand from clients, and problems with test companies to obtain the test kits with the, with the distribution of the kits. And that HIV self-testing do not allow integrated testing for other infections like STIs, viral hepatitis. Um, CBVCT services that are not providing HIV self-testing uh, have some reluctance about possible demand and acceptance of this technology among their users. Most of the respondents, 63%, think that only some users of their services would accept, well, HIV self-testing. 
uh, half of the respondents are unclear whether they providing it to be self testing uh, after I uh, whether providing it to be self testing can increase the testing numbers in their services. And few centers, the 50%, receive uh, calls of clients asking information about HIV self test. In this table, uh, you can see the list of the members of the network that answered the survey and are, provide, are currently providing HIV self testing or provided it in the past. We have to take into account that the respondents from uh, the, the, the German from Germany, the Dutch Hilfe, is uh, providing the responses uh, togetherness with the uh, German checkpoints. Sixty percent of the centers that are currently providing HIV self testing are providing it as an established program, and forty percent as a pilot program. Um, there were a mix of ways of providing the kits. Uh, six uh, centers provided the kit by mail. In three centers, the client have to pick them up in person. And in the rest, there were the two options or the kits are provided during outreach activities. In almost all the CVP cities and 87%, uh, the HIV self-test kits uh, were provided to the clients free of charge. And in all the CVCT providing HIV self-testing, uh, the clients can call if they are not clear on how to perform the test or interpret it, although most of them receive few calls. And those few calls are mainly on both how to perform the test and on how to interpret the results. Regarding the follow-up, uh, most of the services uh, providing HIV self-testing, 60%, follow up on the results. Three uh, centers reported that they did not follow up on the results. And regarding the other three, one of them offers the option to the client, but it's hard to get the feedback. Other only offer, uh, other one only offers follow up if there is a need uh, for, for counseling, and the other only if the client schedule an appointment. There are different ways to get the results uh, from the test from the client. Uh, the client can call or email to the CBVCT. Is the CBVCT who called or emailed the client? And um, the CBVCT provides a link for reporting anonymously the result, or uh, the CBVCT emails the clients asking to answer a questionnaire that includes the test result. All CBVCTs that uh, report doing follow up uh, provide counseling to clients to, uh, that have a positive result with a self test kit. And most of the services, uh, 60%, uh, follow up also with their clients to get feedback on the user friendliness, friendliness of HIV self-test kits. Although the different methods, the percentage of feedback from the clients with the self-test result is low in most of the services that reporting doing follow up. The main advantages highlighted by the CVCT services regarding HIV self-testing where uh, that uh, is a way to provide testing during lockdown, that is a complementary tool for people who have not access or who don't want a contact with a professional to perform an HIV test, or uh, an, is a good alternative uh, for to, to going to healthcare facilities or coming to the ser to CVCT services, especially when they live and work far from such centers. Uh, it's a great opportunity for reaching heightened populations, People was very interested, and there were several comments of those uh, services that uh, were performing uh, currently the, the, the HIV self-testing, uh, that the, the, those that perform a pilot action receive a lot of interest, uh, that now uh, the organization are doing more self-tests that uh, test in their venues, that uh, this um, option has uh, made the organization very visible, and in that way, they can recruit many volunteers. And that there was a high interest in self-test if the promotion if the promotion is done uh, well. Not if, if people get really the, the information on self-test. That the services can reach more remote areas, uh, so the, there is a possibility to provide testing for people all over the country, not only in the cities where the same cities are that uh, can send other harm reduction material along with a uh, self-test. Um, they highlight the privacy that is much more discreet for the clients. The possibility of testing in a safe and comfortable place and at a convenient time for the client. 
that the clients can also take the test for their partners or friends, and uh, also the ability to test hidden and closeted partners without witnesses. The easy of use, the availability and the flexibility, and the concept that uh, the, the test can be done in an autonomous way, but that the client is not alone because if there is uh, some problem or question, they can always uh, ask to the community centers for help or for the counseling. Okay, and the main disadvantages highlighted uh, were, uh, of course, the price and, and the problem of funding these programs the problem of uh, follow-up to receive the feedback from the clients. It's recognized as one of the main challenges. The worry is about uh, positives not being linked, uh, linked to care. That uh, all the logistics requires a lot of time for preparation for the follow-up, uh, etc. The fear of self-administration, and I guess that this is referred to um, the, the, the fear that the client uh, do something wrong performing the test and, um, and probably the result uh, could be uh, wrong. And the possibility of loss of customers or the stress of the customer, the, the clients the possibility of that this, those kids being used by the police or and the fear of the status disclosure. And uh, the general comments regarding self-testing, uh, where that is a very good tool for easy access to tests, that uh, is important to provide them free of charge for vulnerable persons, vulnerable people. In Spain, it was highlighted that there was a negligible impact of the sale uh, on the sale of self-diagnosis kits in pharmacies. That informing the target group and making the test accessible are very important steps, as many did not know about them. But some services stated that uh, they unlikely would adopt self-test or sampling because they think that counseling, both pre- and post-test by peer community health workers, is a cornerstone of the services that they are offering. One civil CT mentioned it that they started just before COVID. It became very popular and been very popular then and hasn't stopped since. Another civil uh, CT comment, uh, another comment was that uh, maybe a small contribution from clients, like to cover the transport, uh, will make uh, the test, will make the clients more responsible in getting the test. And making them available all the time will decrease the number of people that request a test and save them for a later time. And one uh, CBBCT commented that uh, sex workers want to undergo self-testing, but only if they still receive condoms and consultation with an outreach worker. So now uh, move on to the HIV self-sampling. 62% um, of the respondents have not previously heard of HIV self-sampling, and almost half reported that HIV self-sampling is illegal in their countries. Those countries were Belgium, Spain, Portugal, Ukraine, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan. And only two respondents uh, reported they are providing HIV testing through self-sampling. One is Dutch H. Hilfe that answered the questionnaire in togetherness with German checkpoints. And the other one is Gender Doc M from Moldova. The main reasons for not providing HIV testing through self-sampling uh, were related to legal issues, not having interest in doing it, and the importance of the rapid testing services and counseling that uh, community-based testing uh, commu uh, organizations are offering. Other reasons were related to preference for HIV self-testing, that uh, this methodology is not funded for those services where rapid testing is funded, no availability in the country, logistical issues, the cost that is more expensive than rapid testing because of the target population and because there are no demand. Oops, sorry. So CBVCT services that are not providing HIV testing through self-sampling have some reluctance uh, about possible demand and acceptance among their users. More than half of the respondents uh, think that only some users of their services would accept well this technology. Almost 70% of the responders are unclear whether providing HIV testing through self-sampling can increase HIV testing numbers in, the, in their services. And only two CBCT services receive calls of clients asking for help with sample collection. 
The two respondents that are providing HIV testing through self-sampling, as I already mentioned, are Dutch and Skilfe and Dermachin Points and Gender Dog M from Moldova. And in both, the process is different. In German checkpoints, there is a home sampling project uh, where the kids are provided by mail, mail and are not free of charge, but in some cases, the price can be adjusted. The clients can call asking for help with the self-sampling process, and they receive back more than 80% of the self-sampling kits sent. In gender doc M, uh, the kids are provided in person at the CVPCT premises and are offered only in the presence of a CVPCT worker, and the kids are free of charge. The main advantage highlighted of HIV cell sampling uh, was the high acceptance from the clients uh, due to the possibility to test in remote but also having counseling when needed. And the main disadvantage highlighted was the kids' prices, but also the project's cost concerning all the logistics and digital aspects. And the general comments on HIV self sampling, uh, where that self sampling is also a very important part of testing services, and some specific comments on that, where that uh, people in rural areas could have easier access to tests, that people that for reasons do not go to their medical doctors for HIV or STI tests could have access to tests. Also, it is a modern way of using medical services in terms of digitalization and remote access to medical services. And as community-based voluntary counseling and testing service, it is also important to be visible in that field due to private providers, often without counseling, which offers, that, uh, which offers there by a quality that may not be the same or as good as in community-based services. Uh, a comment from an Ukrainian CVBC was that it would be great to certify such kids in Ukraine and distribute them to their clients as an alternative option for self-testing for HIV. Other comments, was that we should consider and work on the barriers like a sphere of HIV stigma and discrimination if the kids are found in the mailbox and potential conflict in the couple if one of partners, uh, if one partner orders it. And if in the future, the legislation does not allow or facilitate the mailing of blood samples, this testing option would not, uh, will not become a viable option for increasing testing rates since handling what samples directly to community-based services or other collection points is complicated and represents a high barrier for those who live far from the collection sites. So uh, we can conclude from that survey that uh, HIV self-sampling is less known and less used than HIV self-testing by communities, uh, voluntary counseling and testing services members of the Covetus network. There are still legal issues for both HIV self-testing and self-sampling. At 33% uh, of the services member of the Covetus network that answered the survey are providing HIV self-testing and only two uh, are providing HIV testing through self-sampling. The main reasons for not offering those testing options are the price, follow-up and linkage to care, and worries about self-administration and no counseling. In those uh, community-based voluntary counseling and testing services providing HIV self-testing, there were high interest from clients and the follow-up of the results is still very challenging. And that's it, thank you for your attention and thank you to all the service respondents.